The Great Lakes of Europa, presented by Science at NASA. At first glance, the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa appears to be a frozen wasteland, a deep freeze where nothing changes and no life could survive. But researchers have long known there's more to Europa than meets the eye. In the 1990s and early 2000s, NASA's Galileo probe swooped low over Europa's icy landscape. Close-up pictures revealed a geologically young surface and unusual formations in the ice. Grooved ridges and crustal plates looked like they had broken apart and rafted into new positions floating on subsurface water or slush. Similar ice patterns are found in the Earth's own Arctic. Indeed, it is now widely believed that Europa harbors a vast ocean beneath its frozen exterior. The ocean is deep enough to cover the whole surface of Europa and, according to some estimates, contains more liquid water than all of Earth's oceans combined. However, being so far from the sun, Europa's surface is completely frozen, with a crust some tens of miles thick. This begs the question, could such a closed-off environment be a habitat for life? New research, just published in the journal Nature, suggests that Europa might not be so closed off after all. Galileo's mission came to an end in 2003, when the probe was plunged intentionally into Jupiter's atmosphere, but researchers continue to study the treasure trove of data Galileo beamed back to Earth. A group led by Brittany Schmidt, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Texas Institute for Geophysics, focused on Europa's chaos terrain, circular bumpy features on Europa's surface that had long intrigued researchers. It turns out that similar terrains are found on Earth, on ice shelves, and under glaciers overlaying volcanoes. Based on what is known of Earth, Schmidt's team developed a four-step model to explain how Europa's chaos features form. I read the paper and immediately thought, yes, that's it, that makes sense, said Robert Papillardo, senior research scientist of the Planetary Science Section at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who did not participate in the study. It's the only convincing model that fits the full range of observations. According to the analysis, one of the chaos terrains apparently overlies a body of liquid, the area of the North American Great Lakes. Moreover, the authors believe that ice shelves on top of the lake are collapsing, providing a way to transfer nutrients and energy between the surface and Europa's vast underground ocean. We see evidence that even though Europa's ice shell is thick, it can mix vigorously, says Schmidt, that could make Europa and its ocean more habitable. Given the number of chaos terrains on Europa's surface, many more such lakes might exist. The data opens up some compelling possibilities, agrees Mary Wojtek, director of NASA's astrobiology program. However, she cautions, scientists worldwide will want to take a close look at this analysis and review the data before we can fully appreciate the implication of these results. Final proof might require a trip to Europa by a spacecraft designed to probe the icy shell. Such a mission is being studied by NASA. For more hot news from cold places, visit science.nasa.gov.